A block is placed on an incline of 30 degrees. A force is then applied to the object to pull it up the incline. The force applied is at an angle of 20 degrees to the incline. How large of a force is required to have the component that is horizontal to the incline equal 30 newtons? What is the vertical component to that same force? So our first step is to identify some relevant concepts and to make a note of the target variables and any given information in this problem. First, we can go ahead and write down what's given. And what was given to us was the incline was at an angle of 30 degrees. And also the force was at an angle of 20 degrees. But remember, this is 20 degrees to the incline. And what we're trying to target are two different things. We're looking for the force horizontal and the force vertical. Now this is the force horizontal and vertical to the incline itself and not to the actual horizontal of the ground itself. And once we have the horizontal and vertical, we need to find the actual force itself that's being applied to the block. And this is what we're looking for. So one thing that puts all these concepts together is going to be Newton's second law, F equals MA. So that's going to be our relevant concept for this problem. So let's go ahead and set up a few things. First, we can start with the diagram. So that we we're sure about what it is we are looking at. This is going to be our angle. We can go ahead and represent the block as the orange symbol there. And what we can also do is go ahead and make sure to note that this is your typical x, y coordinate system that is typically given. And then we have a force that is pulling up. And to this horizontal here is the second angle that we are given of 20 degrees, with this one down here being a 30 degree incline. So let's go ahead and translate that to an actual free body diagram. We can go ahead and label our center point. Now what we need to do is to show the forces that are being applied to the object. Well, we have a weight pulling down and we have a force pulling up at an angle. Now if we were to create our new axis, this will be our positive directions up and to the right. This will be x prime and this will be y prime, our new coordinate system. And these here will be the angles that we'll be referring to in the problem. This here is the 30 degree angle, and this one here is the 20 degree angle. Then what we'll be doing is we'll be resolving the weight into two components. We have one in this direction and one in this direction here. But for this problem, we actually don't need to even worry about the weight itself of the block because we're only looking at the force that's being applied and we are just being asked to resolve it into its two components its horizontal and its vertical component in regards to the actual incline itself. So let's go ahead and set that problem up. Now in order to get the f of x component we are going to get the magnitude of the force and we're going to times it by cosine of the angle. For the y component it's going to be the magnitude of the force times the sine of the angle. So if we were to go ahead and draw these out, this is the force here, and the f of x is going to be this component here, and the y will be this component here. And that will add together to make the force that's being applied. So let's go ahead and execute that. Starting again with the x direction, we have f, let me go ahead and redo that, we have f of x equals f cosine 20. Now we are actually being asked what is the force when the horizontal component itself is actually 30 newtons. So all we have to do is set this equal to 30 itself. 
and then we're going to solve for our target variable of f. So f will equal 30 divided by cosine 20. And this will equal 31.9 newtons. Now similarly, we can do this same thing for f of y. f of y will equal f sine 20 degrees. Now plugging in the value we found here in for f, we will find that this equals 10.9 newtons. Now let's go ahead and evaluate this. We were given a force at a 20 degree angle. And if we were to resolve it into its two components, one along this direction here, and one along this direction here. Now if we were to write down the values that we solved for, this one was the 31.9 newtons, and this one was the 10.9 newtons. Now the positive directions that we found equal the same as the force that we have here, so the directions are okay. We don't have any minus sign, so it's not pointed in a different direction, as well as the magnitudes look reasonable. The force does look like it is pointing more in the x direction than it is towards the y direction. So our magnitudes check out and nothing is exaggerated in any sense. Also if you wanted to go ahead and look at the unit circle, this here would be our 45 degree mark. And if we were to say cut that in half again, we are going to be somewhere around the 20 degrees. So you do see that this x direction here is much larger than the y direction that we found. So it does seem reasonable that the x component will be much larger and it will be almost the same as the horizontal component that we found.